Hey everybody, welcome back to Amy Reads. So today I'm very excited because this is the very first video in my booktubers favorites series. I don't know what I'm calling this. It's my favorite booktubers favorite books of 2018. Um, I will link the introduction. I don't know why I'm pointing up. I will link the introduction down below in the description box. Um, so this is a series I'm going to be doing all throughout 2019 where I have chosen my eight favorite booktubers and I am reading their favorite books of last year. Um, and I'm going to talk to you guys about these booktubers, why they are my favorite, um, and then just do kind of a quick review of their favorite book that I have read. Um, so the first video as I'm sure you can tell already from the title, is um, my good friend and favorite booktuber, Kayla Rain, from her channel, Kayla Rain. Um, so I want to start off by talking a little bit about Kayla and how I know her and why she's one of my favorite booktubers. So we'll have a short story time, uh, and then I'll get into her favorite book, which I've read um, and spoiler alert, loved. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, but so I met Kayla in early 2016. I had just gotten, um, not back into reading. I've always, I've been a lifelong reader. Um, and I had already for a few years been doing kind of like reading challenges and trying to read like 25 books a year. Um, but I was really going into it. And I've spoken about this on my channel before. Um, this is around the time that I realized booktube was a thing and existed. I was reading a ton is what I'm trying to say. I was reading voraciously um, and I had gotten my hands on the Stephanie Perkins series uh, the and in the French Kiss series. I'd read them at the library. I just finished them and I loved them. Um, and I realized that Stephanie Perkins lives in Asheville, North Carolina, which is about an hour from where I live in Northeast Tennessee. And then I just happened to be online and I see that like the, in a few days after I finished the last book, she was going to be in Asheville doing a book signing with Jeff Zentner, the author of The Serpent King. So The Serpent King had just come out early 2016. It was already on my TBR and I was like, oh cool, she's going to be interviewing this new author whose book I want to read. Um, it was a free event at an awesome bookstore in Asheville. So I talked to my husband. He's like, let's go. So this was the first author event I had ever been to and I was really nervous because I'm like, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm going to meet her and I just like marathoned her books and I love them and I don't know what to say. So my husband and I get to the bookstore and I have a seat randomly beside someone and my husband sort of encourages me to talk to them because again, I'm very nervous and I'm not really sure what to do or what to say um and so I'm just holding my little stack of books and I just kind of turn to her and I don't remember what I say and it turns out it's Kayla Rain who I did not know had a booktube channel at that point I think I only followed like Heather from Bookables and then Shannon from Leaning Lights who doesn't really do a channel anymore um and so I knew what booktube was but I had just barely like dipped my toe in so I didn't know who she was and turns out she lives in the town about 40 minutes from where I live. That's where I grew up and where I went to high school. <laughs> so, and where my brother lives. So she lives in that town. Uh, she's just a couple years younger than me. We didn't go to the same high school, but we lived in the same area. Um, and she was with her friend, Chesney who um, all these girls, I'll, even, I'll put um, Chesney's picture in here as well, all these girls I went to Y'all Fest with last year and I've gone to see a fest with them. Um, but anyways, they were sitting there and so we struck up this conversation and it was like not only were we both there for Stephanie Perkins, but um, we lived really close to one another. Neither of us were from Asheville. We had just traveled over there to see Stephanie Perkins. Um, so, and I immediately liked Kayla Rain. I immediately got on my phone and subscribed to her on booktube and started marathoning all of her videos. I was like, I can't believe this girl's a booktuber and she lives like in this area. She lives really close to me. Um, and so we kind of struck up a friendship and in the last year or two, we have really strengthened that friendship. We went to see First Aid Kit together last summer, just the two of us. Um, so we road tripped it down to Raleigh Durham, I think is where we were. Um, and saw first aid kit. Um, we went to y'all fest together. We had gone to see a fest last year. Um, and we, I went with her to get her newest tattoo the day before her birthday. Um, she's a wonderful girl. She's so 
calming and so considerate and um, I love her taste in books. I love her taste in music. I love her taste in everything. Um, I just think she is such a badass human being and just being around her makes me happy and it makes me feel soothed um, and I just I think the world of her if you are not already subscribed to Kayla Rain Obviously, she will be linked down below. She's very socially conscious. Um, she is in the mental health field. So she, in her personal life and her professional life, I feel like she is just um, very considerate of others and very in tune to social issues. And I, I just love that so much about her. Um, but yeah, that's how I met Kayla. And um, that is who she is to me. And I love her dearly. Um, and so her favorite book of 2018 is Blood Water Paint by Joy McCullough. Now, this is a book I did have out from the library last year, um, and I read like three pages, and I was like, okay, cool, I'll get back to that, and then I had to return it to the library. So I recently got this, um, just some stats on this book. This was published March 6th of last year. Um, I decided to get this in audiobook format because this book is written partially in prose, partially in verse. Um, this is historical fiction, although it is based on the true story of Artemisia Gentileschi, Gentileschi? Yeah. who was a painter, a Baroque painter, um, in the 1600s in Rome, and she was famously uh, raped by her mentor, I guess is what you would call him. She didn't really need a mentor, um, but she was raped by her mentor and she took him to court. She took him to trial um, and she was tortured um, and she survived. And this, I mean, women do this now, but um, for them to have done it in the 1600s was just unheard of. You, you didn't you didn't accuse a man of rape in the 1600s. Like, who who cared? No one cared. Um, but she did, and she she cared. Um, and she went on to be a very famous painter. Um, so this is about that time in her life when she was an adolescent. She's 16 or 17, I think, in the book. Um, so the stuff that's from her point of view is told in verse, but then she is also kind of... Um, Flashing back to a time when her mother, who has since passed, was telling her stories of women who, you know, stood up to men who did things. And um, so you have these two things going on, and that is told in prose. So I loved this. Like I said, I listened to the audio, and I recommend that um, because I just like being read poetry, I guess. Um, and it's just under four hours for the audiobook on regular speed. And I usually listen to one and a half speed. So it takes no time at all to get through this. Um, and I really loved the narrator for this audiobook. Um, this book is, if you can imagine, it's very feminist. It is very, um, you know, it's poetry. So things are told very beautifully, but it is about a very, very serious matter. So um, if you're not into things told in verse, you may not be into this. Uh, you, if you know, you may prefer just a straight up nonfiction novel about Artemisia. But um, I just think this is such a gorgeous way to tell this story. Um, and I was absolutely blown away. I can completely see why this was Kayla's favorite book of last year. So I would highly recommend this to anybody who is um, interested in feminist literature who is interested in, I mean, I'm not even interested in Baroque painting. It didn't matter. You didn't necessarily have to be like interested in her work. I had never even heard of her until I heard of this book coming out. Um, so I really enjoyed getting to learn about her and, and learn about this really courageous, brave thing that she did when she was 17 years old. Um, and, and she, she paid a price for that and continued on and persevered and, I just think it's amazing. So yeah, so those are my thoughts on Blood Water Paint. I gave this book five stars. So this is uh, the first of eight booktuber favorite videos. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, please let me know anything that you might want me to tweak or change or just any feedback on these. I've never done anything like this before. Um, but yeah, check out Kayla Rain if you are not already subscribed to her down below. She is an absolute gem of a human being. So if this sounds interesting to you or if you enjoyed this book, uh, Kayla probably has a lot of really great recommendations uh, based on your interest in this book. 
And as always, if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of this content um, and more of this series, make sure that you hit subscribe down below. Hit the little bell if you want notifications on my videos. Um, and please share and, and do all that amazing stuff. And as always, I will be back soon with more book talk. Bye!